What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today we're going to be looking at something pretty interesting. I, I don't know if you guys follow Rex YouTube channel, uh, their guild Omega Project has already done it, however, something we haven't talked about in a while is Flame Shrine, and as you guys can see, um, how many zeros is that? That, that uh, um, What is that number? So we're already in the millions, so then it's like what, billions, trillions, quadrillions i don't even know what, what's after quadrillion quintillion and then it's like one one like a hundred quintillion uh hold on uh what comes after quintillion sextillion so this is like basically one sextillion damage i believe right Mill let's do it one more time so these are in the millions so billion trillion yeah, I'm pretty sure this is one sextillion damage. Now, I didn't look yet to see what their health is yet, but both Rob and JC have been going absolutely crazy. I don't think I've even really hit this boss. Like, I just did, like, my auto hits with my unoptimized lineups. We'll actually try this out. Um, I do need to change the order, though, because my guess is it's the front boss that is taking all the damage, which means I need to put you in the front row. We have an energy feed. We have all this stuff set up. Uh, let's just see what this boss's health bar is at right now. So uh, we got you in the front row. Fingers crossed. Let's see. Is the is the boss is the boss even dead? We, there might even be a boss completely gone. Nope, not just yet. So it's very very much close to the point where the front boss is going to be dead. Uh, probably by tomorrow's hits, we will have the front boss completely on i feel like that should be something that is easily doable for our guild at this point and luckily molassa it's the unique one usually your highest damage numbers do come from molassa so that is where, why we're looking at this one specifically uh we do have all those demon bells honestly i should probably be using a mirror on one hero eve because the technically four demon bells is all you need right Four demon bells and some luck. So we could do like, actually, we could run like two mirrors giving extra. We get demon bell, demon bell, demon bell. That's guaranteed 60. And then we get 15 from each of those. So that's 90. So we only need one of the three demon bells to give additional energy. That is a little bit of a gamble. But then you could high roll with two elusive mirrors. Hmm, I kind of like that idea. It is a bit of a gamble, though. I think we might try it after this. We might see what our elusive mirror damage can be in comparison. <laughs> oh, let's see how much damage this Lord of Fear Aspen is doing. We really need the shrink to be on the front target, though. The front target is the most important one to be shrunk here. And it just seems to be like we're not hitting it with the Olivia, which is a little sad. But we do have 100% watcher marks, hopefully, by this round um yeah we just we just can't catch a break with these shrinks it is just not happening at all we are doing good damage to the boss and i imagine this is going to look really good especially because the health bar is sub 60 percent so we're getting the bonus from our lord of fear aspen and on top of that we're getting the maximum amount of maim damage from our star spawn and our treasures if you guys don't know what maim is it is definitely something to Focus on because the lower the HP of the target, the more damage you deal. Energize really well with Assassin, so we will have to see if we're going to swap over to the Lord of Sparkles. But this is looking good so far. It's definitely looking like some good damage. I think I felt that bar move a tiny bit. I think we can do better, though. I'm going to take a little RNG. We're going to try to make it happen here. Let's see what our damage number is, though. That is solid. I like that. That that that's a good amount of health, and uh, the fact that he was drunk and everything. Uh, yeah, that'll push away the list. So let's just see if we can do something here. We actually had one already in the process of being built. We had it up to here, so uh, we might be able to work on our third elusive mirror potentially soon as well, which is kind of cool. But we have two elusive mirrors now, which is the important thing because in formations we're going to try to super high roll we're going to chuck an elusive mirror on a 
which again, you get 15 energy at the end of the round, but you're also increasing the all damage dealt of heroes. And uh, let's go with Drake as well. Let's give you an elusive mirror. Uh, let's see if we can RNG this and make it work. So let's go back into our guild. Let's go into our territory. Uh, let's see if we can push ourselves a little further up the rankings. <laughs> it doesn't really matter though, because we've like really just kind of thrown it out the window with the with the auto attacks um but hey if we can do some more damage not too bad this is where the biggest damage numbers will come from we're gonna need a little rng from these mirrors at the end of the round to give energy to the correct heroes and of course the molasses hit three targets too so that really does help with energy generation on top of that it looks like it should work out pretty fine, and it's really good to have that front target shrunk. We're getting a lot of all damage dealt from those two mirrors as well, so hopefully the damage numbers go even higher. Again, we need a RNG, Heart Watcher hitting the front target, like every time that time sucked because we three targets, she only hits two, and we want the shrink to happen every single time on the front one, at least in the late rounds. Uh, but you guys can see here the HP is uh, <laughs> is getting pretty much like she's getting nuked down. Tons of damage coming out. I want to see if I can freeze this. Boom. Oh, that was a horrible screenshot. I want to see if I can get a good in-combat shot. There we go. The little miniature <laughs> Molassa almost dead. Uh, I think we are going to kill her, to be honest. Especially once JC... And and them get to attack once again. It seems like they've hit sextillion number, which is just insane. Uh, it's cool to see because if we're doing it, that means there's probably three or four other guilds that are possibly able to do this as well. I know Omega Project has already killed one of the bosses once before. Uh, the next challenge is going to be: Can you kill more than one? Because if you actually look at it, like their health bars are even starting to dip down here. But again, the Drake combo is just so insane with the uh, removal of all of their power and everything. We'll have to see what our final damage number is like here. It should be better. We shouldn't be missing any energy here, mainly just because the molasses, again, hit three targets. So the end of round, we're getting 30 energy pretty much on every single hero. But a lot of times that doesn't even matter because we're just, we're just getting hit so much by the molasses. So even that front molasses CC'd, or rather shrunk, is amazing for us right here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, wait. Okay, good. Good. I was like, wait a minute. We need both the Demon Bells to go before our Aspen for it to work out. It does seem to be working out pretty well. And every time Aspen does get hit, that's just additional skill damage. So far, oh, he still got an active off. The speed is a big concern here because Molasses slow down speed too, so they can really mess with it. Okay, everybody gets an active here in the last round. She isn't shrunk, but still optimistic here. Let's see what the final damage number is this time around. Yeah, there we go. 100 quadrillion. We hit the E17 thanks to those. And uh, yeah, that's going to bump us a little bit further up the list. Nowhere near the top though. And yeah, Rob and JC going crazy. So maybe tomorrow we'll see a dead molassa in the row and we'll see how, what type of damage we do uh, with the remaining what? There's only one more day left on it. We'll have to see. Hope you guys enjoy this one. Let me know if your guild is even close to doing this as well. See you guys next time.